I'm going to use Python and MySQL to open up this database, FNLN, and this table, Names, and print out all these records. How do I do that? Well, the first thing I do in my program is I can import MySQL.connector. If you don't have MySQL installed, I have a video you need to see. So I key in import mysql.connector, and then I say mysql connector. He says yes. And we're going to connect to something, and I want you to assign all of this to the variable com, short for connection. So mysql connector, connect to the following database system. And I'll give you all the details now. You're going to connect as user root. Your password will be a blank, quote, quote. And the name of the, the server that you're going to be connecting to is called localhost. And the name of the database that you'll be connecting to is FNLN, first name, last name. And assign all this information to CON.com. And this is the data you'll be connecting to. Let me put this over to the side so we can use it as a reference all the time, so we'll know what our target is. Here's the database name. Here's the table name and all the records we're attempting to print out. So, let's go back to our code. We're telling MySQL Connector to connect to this server as root using this password and the name of the database is FNLN. Now I tell Mr. Khan here to set up a cursor. What's a cursor? That's an area where all your records are going to be put into so the system can go through the these records very easily. And Mr. Khan set up this cursor area for the records and assign all of that to M. So Khan says M, why M? Why? Well, M is going to be my manager. He's going to manage the cursor area for me. Well, that's good. Now, the next thing is I'm going to give a command to M pretty soon. And the command is going to be for M to select all the records, select star, from the names table. Here's the name of the table, names. And assign it to Q. I haven't done anything yet. I'm just saying this is the command I'm going to issue pretty soon. Assign that to Q. Okay, Mr. M? Yes? Could you execute the command in the variable Q? He says, sure, I'll do it. That's select star from name. So he goes and grabs all these names, and he puts them into the cursor, into the cursor area. But I, I can't really get to that cursor area too easily. So, Mr. M, yes, could you fetch all those records, these records, which are in the cursor area, and could you assign that to the variable result, R-E-Z, because I can get to result very easily. Okay, he says to me, I'll do that. So he fetches all the records out of the cursor area, and he puts them into res. Now, I've got all of this stuff in in the res, a res variable, and I can just step through this very easily. I can loop through this, iterate through this very easily. For each line in the res variable that's holding all these records, uh, this is what I want you to do. I want you to print out whatever is in each line. And he just keeps doing this till he gets to the very end. And then when he gets to the very end, I say, Mr. Khan, yes, could you close the connection? And he closes it. And that's it. Now it's time to run this program. So I'm going to click on Run, and then Run Module. And here is my output. Wow. Okie dokie, let's now do this in real time. So here on my left hand side I have the Python 3.4.3 shell. And on the right hand side I have my program. Open, print, and close. Dot .py, opc. And here's all my code that we just went through. Let's see how this works out. I click on run. Run the module. And there are all my records. But you know what? I don't like that printout too much. I don't want to see all of this and the parentheses. And so, let's change this. As you can see, there's one, two, three elements. 
to each one of these lines. Well, what if I could print out just one of those elements? Oh, let's say element 1. Let's see what would happen if we did that. We do File, Save, and now Run, and Run Module. Not, oh, that was nice. George said just got the first names. So I can target each one of the elements in the res variable. Okay, let's see if I can get two of them. I'd like to get element 1, comma, and element 2. That should print out the first name and the last name. Let's, let's see how that turns out. File, Save, Run, Run Module. And, oh, that was nice, but it's still a little bit too crowded. I'd like to see some space between the first name and the last name. What if I could come over here to the print statement and print out a tab character? That would be nice. So, file save. And now, bada bing, bada bang. Bada boom. And this is George Bull. Thanks so much for listening. And if you enjoyed this video, please rate it by clicking on like. I'd appreciate that. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Till then, bye bye.